with us today on the couch is the director and writer Richard Franklin. Welcome to the couch, Richard. A great pleasure to be here, Fred. I loved your movie, and I know many Australians are going to love it as well. I haven't been able to stop telling you about the movie. You already know all about it. <laughs> it's a, tell us about Stone Brothers in your own words. Well, my own words, the well, best way to put this, two young Aboriginal fellas. One's sort of like the Canadian Mounties of Aborigines. He's trying to get home, mm -hmm. uh, special rock to an uncle. His cousin's very naughty, Charlie. He's sort of a mm, type of fella. He pre-rolls 187 joints. Mm -hmm. They jumps in the car with Eddie, they travel from Perth to Cal, they pick up an Aboriginal transvestite, a heavy metal Italian rock god, and get chased by a demon dog. And there's a spider in there as well. There's a spider, very dangerous arachnid. How did you write such a fantastic movie? Look, it wasn't drugs. <laughs> okay. I was just uh, telling, mates, uh, telling mates the story. They'd come over for a few beers and we'd, you know, do the mate thing and I'd just keep telling the story and one day I wrote it down. Now the thing that got me was it was very traditionally Australian for anyone out there that have, hasn't seen a movie like this before. You go in there, there is no politics. I don't know if I should break the secret there. <laughs> it is the most funniest Australian movie I've seen all year. Oh, thank you Did very you much. Did you intend it to be so humorous? Well, you know, humour humanises what's been dehumanised. So I wanted people to have a good giggle. Mm. But uh, what, <laughs> what I love is sitting there in an audience, you've got 500 people watching it and you just hear all this laughter. Laugh. And I got a bit worried about one old lady, she was laughing that much, she was clutching the side. I thought, oh God, I've killed someone, you know. <laughs> so, uh, look, I think the movie, is, this, the concept, the story is fantastic. You've got a transvestite in there, <laughs> a cross-dresser <laughs> called Regina. She's the cousin of the two boys. That's right, they discover her in a roadhouse. And it's, so, it's amazing that you've actually got a few lives in there that seem to settle. There's a, the story about the stone, there's two stones, the significance of the stones that need to go back to the uncle. How did you write that? In. Was that a true part of the Aboriginal culture? Or? Well, yeah, well, what happened to me anyway is the old people entice you home and they do it all sorts of ways because they, they don't want you to leave. So. See, my parents <laughs> enticed me home with a home cooked spaghetti or lasagna. <laughs> you do it with stone. And sometimes smoked deals. Yes, I think that's as well. <laughs> the movie's a hit. Your cast is a hit. Tell us about the actors, because you've got Peter Phelps, I noticed, from Underbelly. Peter Phelps, um, and off the record, you might see his bum if we you go along. We did see his bum, and, and everything else as it swung up as he jumped up into the air, I think. How did you score such a great cast? Oh, look, it was, it was look, people read the script and they wanted to be involved. I was so honoured. Like, Phelps is an old mate of mine, um, and he, he just dived into the role. He's sort of like a, as one radio announcer described him, said, a black man trapped in a white, white policeman's body. body. <laughs> it was awesome. I mean, the storyline is fantastic. Even the car, the fair lane <laughs> that gets destroyed by the end of it. It's a beautiful car. I wanted that car, you know. <laughs> Did you really? Oh, I now, loved it. The movie was filmed here in Western Australia. Absolutely. It's, it's Perth, Perth, Kalgoorlie, Coolgardie and Murupoi, a little yep. community. Coolgardie was awesome. How, why did you choose WA? Screen West. Okay. That's Screen cool. West and a great crew over here. I'd, I'd worked with a lot of the crew on the circuit. Yep. They were supportive, they work really hard. I mean, any filmmaker out there considering to make a film, consider WA. You get great support. I was so impressed with them. Now, you're not a jack come lately. You've been around a bit with the directing and writing side of it. You've had other movies as well? Yeah, this is my first feature, mm -hmm. but I've done lots of docos, lots of corporates. I teach kids to make films. Um, that's always fun. A bit, bit stressful. I think it sent me bald, but... Uh... Oh, there you go. <laughs> Leave the hat on there. Just... Thanks, bro. A bit bright. Where would you like the movie to go? If, if the people out there, give them a reason to come and watch the movie. What do you expect them to get out of this movie? Oh, three bits of advice. Number one, if you come to see the film, have a pee before you go in the cinema, otherwise you might embarrass yourself. Mm -hmm. Number two, this film belongs to all Australians. It's not just in the cultural corner. You will get a good laugh. And number three, it belongs to all of us and you'll take ownership, trust me, because I, I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> the movie's out on the 24th, which was a couple of days ago. It's out at all good cinemas around Australia. Yeah, and about 30 cinemas around Australia, and they're, they're looking at increasing that. It's going so well, so. And hopefully the, maybe some government departments, educational, schools, etc., might take it in as a reference as well. We want to we want to make this film travel. We want to take it to both black and white communities where people are and doing it hard. Is it going around the world? Hey, it's going to Toronto, the yeah. biggest Indigenous festival in the world. And you know that other Australian country that likes to be called New Zealand? I uh, think they would love it as well. I bloody hope so. <laughs>